be the most famous person to come out of Boston, Wiggy. What do you think about that? Oh, I, oh, I yes, would say Wiggy. I would say he's the most famous person to come out of Boston. Oh, I, I, thought you said, Mark Wahlberg, I thought you said I thought you said you were athlete. Yeah. I know Portnoy. Portnoy played baseball. Yeah, Portnoy's an athlete. But I mean, p- at the professional level. All yeah, right. You know. And he's also a philanthropist. Yes. yes. And so uh, he joins us right now on the Harbor One Hotline. Dave, good morning. How's it going? What's going on? Uh, not too much. Just kind of getting the day going. Dave, before we get into what we're doing today, uh, I know you're friends with the Hayes family, so obviously a sad few days for us. We've talked to Tuca about it. We've talked to uh, Tori about it. Any words for you uh, to the Hayes family? You know, it it, it was stunning. Uh, That's all you can really say. I found out in the morning, and then you wait for it to be, like, official. But, yeah, you know, I became fairly close with both Jimmy and Kevin, and, and I know you know them as well, Courtney, really well, BC, all that. So it's just, uh, you know, like the nicest guy in the world. Like everybody liked them, super funny, um, affable, and there's nobody who ever didn't like it. I, how do you even put it into words? You really can't. It's just a stunning, stunning thing to hear. Um, and I actually was like making fun of them two days beforehand, talking to Kevin, like I, I have a golf tournament coming up with Brooks Kepka. And I just like chirped Jimmy a little bit about like the past video and, you know, we always bust each other's balls, but it, it just how fragile life is. I, I don't know what else to say. It's just a really stunning, sad uh, story. I, there, I don't even know how you put it into words, to be honest. Um, when it comes to Barstool, I, I would like nothing more than for Barstool to try to save Major League Baseball. How, 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 <laughs> how, how, how much of a possibility is that, Dave? Uh, you know, I never know because Barstool is a lightning rod for so many people and you know, I've never totally understood it, but uh, there's, especially in today's world, there's tons of people who love us and there's a small, I'd say small vocal minority despise us. So even when that leaked out, like, Hey, Barstool may be covering major league baseball, the people who don't like us, who probably 99% of them don't watch like sports anyways, went absolutely like bananas. So uh, I think there's a chance, but there's still a long way to go. And the story that was leaked in the New York Post when it was, I mean, we weren't like close to signing a deal yet. The, the conversations were definitely going. My guess is somebody wanted to like leak kind of a weather balloon and be like, all right, how, how much backlash are we going to get from the same group who whenever we do anything is, is basically like these guys stink. Like we could raise – like we did that barstool fund. We raised like forty million dollars for business. There were people like yelling at us for that. They're like, they're only doing that to get credit. There's just a group of people who don't care for us. So I don't know. Um, I'd love to do it. I think it'd be good for baseball. I think we cover it in a way that's totally unique and appeals to a younger demo. But uh, I, if I had to put a number on it, I'd say ten percent. Like I, I'd still, I'd be stunned if it's still happen just because they major league baseball is traditionally conservative would have to be like yep we know we're going to get some complaints but we're okay with it dave my mother always used to say if they're hating on you that means you've done something well now you're a guy from the area and you know is this about you getting a statue in east boston <laughs> no 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 they, you know we got the sandwich in east boston because dave could help you get that done. dave could help with a, help with a he lot could help of things you get that done yeah he could help with a lot of things you're you're a kid from the area or you're a local kid do you ever get a chance to just kind of reflect on like everything that you're doing i know you're doing the nl nil stuff with the college kids i'm a big fan of a uh, million dollars worth the game with wallow and uh gilly the king so do you ever just get a chance to just sit there and go, man, look what I've been able to accomplish, you know, especially when you was beating the pavement and no one wanted to give you a chance? Yeah, yeah. every once in a while something will happen that I'm like, man, I can't believe that that just went down that way. And, you know, we've grown so much. Uh, some people don't don't get, like, how it started. Like, I was literally, you know, handing newspapers outside Garden and Fenway Park. Like, I still, if I go to a Celtics game, the scalpers, like, still – recognize me they're like hey good to see you like successful because they'd be selling their tickets i'd be slinging my newspapers so it's uh there's certain instances like uh, jimmy buffett invited me over his like house for lunch the other day and jimmy buffett's like my guy like i used to draw like dress my subaru up as like a shark and go to the tweeter center like every year so moments like that it's like i cannot believe this is happening but for the most part i i haven't 
we're still so busy, so I don't have a lot of time to reflect. But I certainly understand, like, this is kind of a one in a bazillion thing. I got very lucky along the way so many different times, and it's uh, kind of surreal how big it's gotten. Uh, tell me he doesn't he doesn't serve cheeseburgers, right? This is like what, what's Listen, the, the man has it made. He has, like, a little, like, pitch and putt golf like course in his front yard and he's got his seaplane in the back so he can fly in and out it's pretty pretty spectacular <laughs> another one of your guys mr tom brady who tends to comment on your instagrams quite a few times uh matt damon has picked brady over the patriots i don't know where you stand on that he, he picked brady over the patriots yeah, he said he's yes. barely not even watching well, that, the that's patriots a fake fan. that's yeah. a fake fan Tell i mean him. i love brady that that's I, I'm a Brady guy through and through, but if the Patriots play the Bucs, I want the Patriots to win nine thousand and nothing. Like you can't. That's just not a real fan. You cannot root for Brady over the Patriots. I don't care how great he's been, and everyone. I went to jail for the dude, so it's like I'm the biggest Brady guy there is. But I'm a Patriots fan. Patriots first. Do you think Matt Damon should have a lifetime ban from Gillette? <sighs> he's not allowed. Yeah, that's just a crazy thing to say. Well, that, is that's it? That's just a crazy thing to say. I Could mean, not agree more. Yeah. Could he's not, not agree more. He's not allowed in Boston no more, Dave. He's no. not no more. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> not like something that it's like, oh, it's just I don't know. Like everyone loves Brady around here still, but we're Patriot fans, right. and, and that goes for any team. There's, there's, it doesn't matter what we root for the team first, and then players on the team. I just don't know how you could root against the Patriots. I, that, that's nuts to me. Well, and you know why we're here right now doing the Jimmy Fun Radio Telethon. Uh, since being in the area, this is the 19th year, were you familiar with it? Uh, have you watched it in the past, listened to it? Yeah, of course. I mean, how could you not be aware of it? And for a long time, obviously, it was like there was nothing else in terms of like EEI and the Red Sox, so it was everywhere. But, yeah, I, I, you can't not be aware of it because it's everywhere for when the Red Sox are playing and EEI and all that. Obviously, since I've been out of the city, you lose track a little bit, but I still have enough connections to New York. I mean, Boston, you always know when it's going on. So, yeah, you see all the stories, and it's always an emotional, what, the two days, I think, straight, and they set the limit. So, yes, how could you not be aware of it? Well, listen, uh, thanks for joining us, and, and thanks for, uh, I, from me anyway, everything that you did when it came to small businesses and – uh, saving so many businesses is extraordinary. So I, I, I thank you for uh, championing that effort and for what you did, Dave. It's, uh, it's awesome. So I'm really glad you, you came on this morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. Courtney. You got no guts. I thought you were going to like throw out a number I had to donate. I was listening to well, that Well, I was just hoping, you know, we all know how much you make off of the bar yeah, stool, so I, mean, I was just got, hoping you, you were going to come to the I mean, table. I think Courtney Usually probably, when I'm on something like this, somebody sticks a number at me, but I'll I mean, donate. Should, but I'm it should glad be you, Courtney. I mean, it should be Courtney. I'm a, what, what I know. I know her. That's why I said no guts. Yeah. That's fine. I'll donate anyway. Oh, you want me to go? You want to go? Yeah, why don't you go? Yes, he does. He does. I'm going to donate. I'm just telling you next time you have somebody that you're friends with that's wealthy you should throw a number yeah, ticket wow. to that's what right i was just hoping Pat, you're Pat, such a charitable guy you're gonna come come to the, come to the table What's that? Wait, wait, wait hold on i want to hear the chick what was the chicken box thing the uh, packy runs a chicken box invited me to an event just so he could publicly like throw a number out and embarrass <laughs> me that i had to donate so that i was expecting that as i was listening well, so, these, wow. it's right, for i'll the... donate but thank you for not doing that courtney, courtney oh, no, well, I'll throw a number what are you out? waiting for we, we're, we're, we're hoping that we can get to three hundred thousand this morning so if you wanted to donate i think we're at uh what is it right now two hundred thousand so if you want to throw a hundred thousand you would do you would do us a, a big service right now You've got the cash. <laughs> I think they hung, hung up. up. Oh, he hung up. Oh, he hung up. That's it. Well, well. I was gonna invite him up See, to my I house and throw out a number. <laughs> I would have gone like twenty-five or. Bill, you wanted or, to go there, so I, I would have gone like twenty-five or. I mean, 50, 50, I don't know. Did you see how I much get, he you made? you got to respect Courtney. She goes right for 100 grand. Well, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I, w I probably would have went for like 50 guys. Uh, <laughs> he's, he is loaded. You, you yeah, he's loaded. He's loaded. <laughs> he's loaded.